You're listening to the Below the Yellow Line podcast from Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Las Vegas post-race edition of the Below the Yellow Line podcast. I am Samuel. That is my co-host. Hello. Hello. Hello, I am here. That is Emily. I pointed at a computer screen for some reason, even though (laughs) I don't know why. We are going to recap Vegas here. I'm trying to go for 12 minutes or less. We'll see uh, how successful I am with that. But William Byron gets his first win of the season, locking himself in to the NASCAR Cup Series playoffs. He won both stages. He won the race after it looked like Kyle Larson had the thing in the bag. He's leading late, has a a three-and-a-half-second lead, four laps to go, and then uh, bing, bang, bonk, Eric Amarola is in the outside wall, and that leads to a caution. Martin Truex rolled the dice. (laughs) Nobody said that all broadcast because we're in (laughs) Vegas, get it, you know, gambling. Um, He rolled the dice. He uh, uh, played the game of craps or whatever it is they do in those casinos in Las Vegas. And uh, unlike Alex Bowman last year, it did not work. He only ends up with a seventh William Byron with two fresh rat sad tires took home the victory. He was the best car all day. He deserved the, the top three cars of Byron, Larson, and Bowman. You know, they were the top three cars. Bubba Wallace comes home in fourth. Christopher Bell in fifth. Those are your top five. Great run for Bubba, a run he really needed. So we're going to run through the results and then the standings. We're going to get Emily's input on the race and my input on the race, and we'll do a very short preview for Phoenix. So I already said the top five, (laughs) time-saving measures. Austin Sindrick finished sixth, then it was Truex. Justin Haley somehow finishes eighth. Kevin Harvick, um, I think um, he and Chase Elliott are going to have to stay in the same hospital room because Kevin Harvick uh, broke his back by carrying Stuart Haas racing the way that he is. He ends up ninth. (laughs) Stuart Haas is a mess right now. Daniel Suarez in 10th. I thank you. I think Chase Elliott's probably going to comment on this and go, bro, why? You just made the pain worse. Daniel Suarez, three top 10s in three races. Great start to the year for him. Denny Hamlin falls to 11th. Ross Chastain, 12th. Ryan Blaney, 13th. Kyle Busch, 14th. I picked him. He didn't win. Wah, wah. Um, first race all year. That that 18 really hasn't had race-winning speed. Uh, Tyler Reddick in the 45 came all the way from the back, um, not necessarily to the front, but he got to the middle of the pack, which is much better than being last in points. He's no longer last in points. Um, you had Amarola, Kozlowski, Allmendinger, Jones, Corey LaJoy. That's their top 20. Great run for Corey LaJoy. Chris Buescher, Ty Gibbs, Ryan Priest, Ricky Stenhouse, Michael McDowell, that's your top 25. Harrison Burton, Austin Dillon, Chase Briscoe, Josh Berry filling in for Elliott, uh, and Noah Gregson, that is your top 30. Uh, Ty Gilland, BJ McLeod, JJ Yaley, Ty Dillon, Cody Ware, and Joey Logano, who crashed um, off turn four. He ends up in last place, not the place that he envisioned himself in. So, Emily, out of all those finishers of this race, who is one driver who really, you know, you, you didn't think uh, would do very well today and who exceeded your expectations, and who is one driver who kind of disappointed you with where they finished? Yeah, I mean, Bubba rocked it today. Um, I was not necessarily surprised to see Larson up at the front. Um, I was disappointed with Disney, Denny's win. I have called him a different name every single time. Hilarious. Uh, or Denny's not. Denny's lost. His, his loss, yeah, we don't talk about it like that, but his <laughs> spot at the end of the race, I would say, more yeah. like it. Um, I was disappointed with where he was when Byron won. Um, and, you know, overall, I I was I was proud of your guys. Yeah. Good job, good job Samuel. Appreciate it. I was <laughs> happy that Bush did not do what you thought he would. I'm shocked. Yay. So, overall, good race, good race. Yeah, good racing. Um, Just tame compared to last year, but that stretch from, like, 75 to go to 65 to go was magical. Those was great battles all day long, especially in the top 10. You'd look up on your screen, and that was a battle going on somewhere. Um, by the way, Fox, um, they did typical Fox things. Their broadcast was pretty mid. Um 
Danica Patrick is not a great uh, color commentator, but she's better than that than she was driving. Um, and it's also <laughs> ironic that on a day she was commentating a race, the number 10 found its way into the wall. Um, just going to leave leave that there. Um, it, was, it was a good day for me, though. Both my guys ended up in the top four, Bowman and Bubba, back-to-back. Back. Love to see that. I'm really hoping they get a 1-2 at some time. Uh, but now let's venture over to the wonderful world of point standings where Kyle Busch, William Byron, and Ricky Stenhouse Jr. have already locked themselves in to the NASCAR Cup Series. But now I want point standings, not race results, NASCAR.com. What are you trying to do here? I don't like it. Um, Ross Chastain is currently, pl- there we go. Ross Chastain is currently plus 60 right now. He is looking really, really good. Only two drivers though. One of those being Alex Bowman, shout out to front uh, Bowman the Showman, and Daniel Suarez. Those are the only two drivers with three top 10s in all three races. Ross Chastain is currently plus 57, or uh, plus 60 to the cut line, sorry. Alex Bowman plus 57, Harvick plus 39, Suarez plus 35, Truex plus 33, your boy Denny plus 30, uh, Christopher Bell plus 25, Joey Logano plus 23, uh, Chris Busher plus 21. I'm not actually sure if this is right. These aren't the same thing. I'm on a computer now, not my phone. So this actually kind of looks different. Oh, well, Kozlowski plus 18, Larson plus 16, Blaney plus 12. Bubba Wallace currently holds the last spot. Uh, he is actually plus zero to the cut line right now. So a, uh, razor thin margin for Bubba Wallace. Uh, Cindric is barely out. Uh, LaJoy only one point out. Almendinger, Ty Gibbs, Eric Amarola, Michael McDowell, Justin Haley, Chase Elliott, obviously, uh, they, they're they going to get a waiver. Um, Harrison Burton, Austin Dillon, Ty Gilland, Eric Jones, Cody Ware, Noah Gregson, Ryan Priest, Chase Briscoe, Tyler Reddick, BJ McLeod, and Ty Dillon are all out of the playoffs right now. So, Emily, same thing as with the race results. Any guys right now in the points that are a lot higher than you thought they would be? Any guys in the points right now that are a lot lower where you thought they'd be? And and are you shocked with anybody right now either being in or out of the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, I'm kind of surprised that as the guys we're seeing that are already locked in. They're not who I would have picked for um, kind of first ones to win a race. Yeah, especially um, Stenhouse. Definitely. Like Bush. Yeah. Not a huge surprise, Byron. Yeah, I mean, you know, he's he's all right, yeah, but he's, he's not, not consistent. He wouldn't have been my pick. Exactly, yeah. And Stenhouse, I, I mean, like, I know anyone can win a Daytona, win. but it's Stenhouse. Yeah, I mean, so, anyways, I'm kind of surprised at that. Yeah, me too. All right, let's see. I didn't write an itinerary down, so. Um, Emily, what I, I should ask you this beginning at the at the top of the show here. What are your overall thoughts on the race? What are your overall thoughts on the race scene and uh, the strategy there at the end and uh, the the few incidents that we saw? Yeah, um, overall there was some great racing. I saw some really good battles. Um, not a lot of crashing, but that doesn't mean <laughs> that was wasn't a great race. Even though I do love it sometimes, <laughs> not wanting to get hurt, but it makes for some excitement. It does. Um, I uh, I was impressed that, you know, I mean, Denny had a little lead there for a minute. Um, <laughs> Just a minute. Half, half a second. Before ago. Kyle Larson took um, that away. And then Kyle, like, really pulled away. He, yeah. Really that was, that was a bold it. move, though, by Denny with that those, that many laps left. Even with the pit stop left to just take two, knowing everybody else would take four. That's how much clean air in the lead means. Yeah, for sure. So, um, you know, I was happy I... You know, after watching the race, Byron deserved that win. Yeah, um, he absolutely best car. Did. And so Larson was right there. Um, absolutely, just couldn't pull it off today. So. Yeah, I think Hendrick. I know even without Chase Elliott, they're probably gonna have Barry in there for the foreseeable future. But um, even as the three oh, guys okay. they have in there right now, Hendrick is back as always, and they're a three-headed monster. They're gonna be a four-headed monster when they get Chase Elliott back, whether that's before the playoffs or not, whether he Chase Elliott's a part of those playoffs or not. Um, uh, it, the, the, he'll he'll be a factor in some way. Um, for the playoffs, I am impressed. Um, I'm impressed with Daniel Suarez. He's currently fourth in the regular season standings. Um, he is he's having a fantastic start to the year. Uh, three top tens. Um, you know he he dark horse championship four contender. Um, as for I'm a little disappointed with Austin Dillon. Um, currently twenty sixth. He's eighteen points out. Uh, plenty of time to get in. I I didn't predict that he I I predicted that he'd miss it, 
but still, uh, Kyle Busch is your teammate. Um, you got a lot more intel than you did. It's kind of your year to go make something happen um, if you're Austin Dillon. So that's all I think we have for Vegas. Um, how about how about Phoenix going out to the desert, going out to uh, the place that Kevin Harvick owns the keys to? I think he's won there eight or nine times. He won there uh, four or five times in a row from 2013 to 2015. Um, you know, he, he, they basically, you know, that's their home away from home. That's Kevin Harvick's home away from home at this point. The Phoenix, Arizona desert, or the, the Tempe, Arizona desert, technically, um, or Avondale, wherever the heck it is. Um Phoenix is Kevin Harvick's playground, and an SHR car won there last year. It wasn't Kevin Harvick, but it was Chase Briscoe who got uh, what was his first career win last year. Did he win another race last year? I honestly I don't remember. Yeah, I, I, I want to say that too. I, I my memory's kind of shot for whatever reason. Um, it, I'm hoping this new Arrow package they're debuting. We'll talk about that. I'm sure later in the week, either on the YouTube page or, or on the on the podcast. Uh, this new two inch spoiler, more downforce. It's supposed to make the racing better, which we need at short tracks with the next gen car, especially Phoenix, which even with the Gen Six wasn't that good. Uh, looking forward to Phoenix race weekend, though. Um, hopefully the schedule can be somewhat normal. So, Emily, thank you for coming on the show. Um, as always, Happy guys, here. go check out the Spotter Stand YouTube page. If you're watching this on the Spotter Stand YouTube page, go ahead to all the podcast platforms, rate us, follow us, share us, do all that stuff. Um, and to our listeners from Brussels, Belgium, we really appreciate you. We have no idea how you found yeah. your way to this podcast, but we have listeners from Belgium. We have listeners from Dallas and San Fran and uh, Little Rock and Milwaukee and Chicago and Washington, D.C. and from all over the place. So we, we really appreciate it's that. Crazy. It really is. Um, so download the podcast, share the podcast, go to the YouTube channel, The Spotter Stand, and check out all that stuff. So um, I'm not going to have Emily go through her old spiel that she usually does for the YouTube videos because <laughs> this probably isn't going to be seen on YouTube. But if you are watching this on YouTube, like, subscribe, comment, share, you know, um, do all that stuff. But um, we need to come up with an outro for you for podcast. Like rate, I know. rate, follow, share. Rate, oh, I'll never remember download, it. share. Every time. Me neither. We'll we'll find one eventually. You already do our intro for us though, so we appreciate all that. All of the things. All of the things. She, uh, do it. Click mu- that button. Multitasking. Yeah, just click click a button. It doesn't matter what button. Just click a button. Unless it's the one for the for the nuclear launch codes, don't click that one. At least not yet. No, Thank you all for yet. listening and watching. Uh, to Below the Yellow Line, look for some more episodes this week. Previewing Phoenix, talking about that new Arrow package, and maybe another episode of History Buffs. Not sure what it's going to be on yet, but it'll be on something. Um, thank you all for listening, watching, and goodbye.